Ross say P, 50 yard line. Sure. All right, we got one. I'm Brian Bornino. I'm the sports turf crew chief here for the uh, athletic department, and I'm in my 17th year uh, doing this. The man is going to run the string from goal line or the goal post to goal post. So that's going to tell us where dead middle is. And then what we're going to do is run strings across the end zone. That'll be for the end zone stencil. Both end zones will get strings. One dead middle across the 50 for the P, and then the 25 for the big thing. So we're responsible for all the fertility, the cultural practices, sometimes practice setups, game setups. Okay, yeah, cool. You got it. What goes into actually painting Ross Aid? Usually there's two or three full timers that oversee everything, and then the students come and go throughout the week. We get them for maybe three to four hours. This was kind of new for that entire group and we thought this would be a good opportunity for them to see from start to finish, get them trained on stuff, and then when they do come in through the week when we normally paint, which would be Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, then they can just kind of come in, grab a liner, go out and start painting. Even though we have plastic stencils that will actually have little, they're, they're like basically half moons, um, that'll give us an idea of where this stencil goes, we still want to make sure that everything's squared up. So we run strings on all of our yard lines and end zone lines that would basically keep us parallel to the yard lines, goal lines, anything that we may need so that it doesn't look all cockeyed or screwed up or anything like that. Um, let's go this way. Let's do that again. All right, 204. Uh, this, this step here will probably be around three hours. Our painting process is three days with five to six people. So when I say light, it's just gonna be like a see I'm not down here. Just enough to just make sure that every dot has some sort of paint on it. So that when we pull the stencil back up will have kind of a ghost outline of where that thing will go. So when we actually paint, we'll restring every one of these to make sure that all the dots stay in line. You got one string here, one string here, and then those two pieces connect. You've got two there, and then you've got that small one. Probably three to four hours just to string and run paint and paint the entire edge of the logo. Uh, the paint that we use for, for, the, uh, for all of our fields are, is from Pioneer Athletics out of Cleveland. They have spent a number of years formulating it so that it's safe for grass. It'd be different than just going to your local paint store that could potentially contain something harmful that would kill the grass. It's latex based, it's not oil based. The majority of the paint is uh, calcium carbonate uh, free, which that's usually what will build up in the uh, on your field. You have your suction tube in. Yeah. We need to put the suction tube in on that one. You want to leave your primer tube out to start out. One of the challenges that we, we do have is that since we aren't a full, a complete full-time staff and having the students is training on the fly. They're coming in on the first day of school and then we basically get a week to try to catch them up to speed with the first game and that becomes a bit of a challenge, a bit of a headache, but the, the students in general, the majority of them come from either the uh, School of Agriculture or uh, Turf Management. What we did on Saturday was eight hours and then we're looking at another probably 12 to 20 hours to actually do the, the full official paint. And then it's an additional three to four hours each week just to keep everything edged so that we don't have to bring the stencils back out.